Hey guys, this is Lead A's Light. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I just wanted to show you guys this. This is a real quick way that uh, you can oxidize uh, tetra potassium hexocyanoferrate, aka potassium uh, ferrocyanide, to potassium ferrocyanide or tripotassium hexocyanoferrate. It's a real quick and simple prep, and uh, right now what I got going on here, this is what the setup looks like, and you can see here, um, I'm not measuring out anything, I'm just whipping this together quick for a demo for you guys, so what you're looking at here, this is just your standard TCCA HCL um, chlorine gas generator setup, I've got it going through a Claisen adapter to a gas output thing that is going to go into this wash bottle here, the reason I don't have the wash bottle hooked up yet is because off camera right now I'm actually stirring up the solution of um, potassium ferrocyanide trihydrate in some water. Now, just as a side note, everything in my lab right now, if it's just water, is frozen. So all my distilled water is frozen solid. I did not use distilled water for this. I'm only using tap water. So... Uh, there's a color change that's going to occur in this and if the color change is a little bit different looking if you don't try this at home as to what you see me do that's just because of the other stray cations of whatever the hell you know magnesium calcium and whatever that might be in because I just use tap water so I just wanted you guys to be aware of that uh, I'm going to cut the camera a second get everything set up and then let's get rocking one quick thing I should mention too is for your joint grease for this the CL2 is such a strong oxidizer that you don't want to use anything but either Crytox, and if you don't have that, just use a little bit of sulfuric acid is the best thing I could say. All right, so now the setup's complete. You can see what it looks like. I've got my gas output going into my wash bottle. Uh, there's a solution right there you can see in the wash bottle. It's a pale yellow color. That's got an uh, arbitrary amount of potassium ferrocyanide trihydrate dissolved in it. And then from the gas wash bottle, you can see there is a line that I have running outside to output any excess chlorine gas that does not get um, used up and reacted in this reaction. So that's what the setup should be like. And uh, now all we got to do really is turn on our stirring. Uh, stirring isn't absolutely necessary for this. It just makes it a little bit more efficient. Um, and uh, start our um, set funnel open, or our addition funnel rather. And uh, we should start to see CL2 bubbling through here any minute. So right now I'm just going to turn on the hot plate, get the stirring going. And let's start a slow drip of hydrochloric acid. I'm just using... Hardware store grade muriatic acid for this. Here we go. We're going drop wise now. About one drop every, or two drops every second. I'm going to slow that down a little bit. Now, as a side note too, I do have the stopcock of my addition funnel greased with Crytox. So if you don't have Crytox, you're going to want to grease that really well with sulfuric acid. Saw it. Just wait. You'll start to see. There you go. Now the chlorine is coming. <laughs> 